Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Minty and this is episode 8 of my Cruiser Clash tournament. We've got the Stonewall Fortress by Cashin here facing off against Task Force Danalite by the Breakthrough. Every single one of the craft in this tournament get an overview video done, with, done of it, which the playlist to will be linked in the description. But for here, what we're here for now is the battle, the destruction, the explosion, so we're going to get right to that. Start the timer, start the battle, and we'll see whether the crams on this uh, on Task Force Danalite will be able to do some serious damage to the stationary Stonewall Fortress. It will be very interesting to see how that plays out. Oh, and we also get to see the anti-missile cannons in action, and the, all that, H, that inertially fused HE detonating all along Task Force Danalite. Uh, they have gotten some cram shells away. Let's let's hurry up and see what those can do. Detonation does not look like they were quite able to get through the armor into the uh, the cannons themselves, so they are still firing. Initial damage report. Um, surprising little surprisingly little damage is being done to Task Force Danalite despite all of those explosions. Probably because the the uh, Oh, they've got the uh, the deflection shields way out there, so that the explosions are not able to. Oh, big explosion there! Was that just a cram explosion? Yes, it was. The t the cannon seems to still be functional, but neither one of those cannons will be able to take another hit like that. Uh, it's going to come down to this next cram strike. Uh, there's some shield flickering going on on the uh, on the Stonewall Fortress. Big explosion again. All oh, those landed in the middle. They don't seem to be seem to have been able to take out the uh, the cannons there. The missiles coming from the Stonewall Fortress seem to be v largely being negated by the anti-missile cannons on board the the ships here, and the inertially fused HE being severely mitigated by those uh, large those shields being put way out there. But this is quite the slugfest. But it seems the Stonewall Fortress is definitely getting the worst of it. Even though its cannons are managing to survive so far. It's just, it's losing blocks faster than it can repair. While Task Force Danalite is not. But it, that is, like, just, those are explosions. They, they definitely look cool. I'll give it that. But at that far away, the HE is just not able to do any significant damage. Oh, huge explosion. I missed it. One of the cannons went up, and that most assuredly... Oh, both of the cannons went up, actually. This one actually went up without destroying its inside, or the its armor. And there it goes. The Stonewall Fortress is defeated. Wait. It, it seems to have stopped... Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It just had a bit of a hiccup in the despawning there. Anyway, we will restart this. And get the second battle underway. I'll start by spawning in... Task Force Danalite, since it does prefer a broadside spawn, and the Stonewall Fortress is a toward spawn, it's just easier if I spawn in the broadside first, and then just pull a kilometer away. And the Task Force Danalite does uh, start up a little high there, but as you saw, I was like my spawn, my where I was at was basically at the water surface, and they were just they're just for some reason they spawn high. Uh, Right about here for the Stonewall Fortress. Ah, uh, crap, that's a bit high. Alright, let's do this again. I'll go ahead and just restart the designer. And I forgot to... F crap, I forgot to stop it. So, I'm going to have to cut here, respawn everything in, and then we'll get to the second battle. Hey everyone, sorry about that. Uh, one of these days, I will completely forget or I will completely break the habit of trying to restart the designer while it is paused because it just makes that black screen come up and I have to com completely restart the game which means I have to cut the video and yeah 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 so anyway we will get round two underway here and we will see if the Stonewall Fortress can perform better this time got those missile strikes coming in I want to see how effective these anti-missile cannons actually are at stopping this strike yeah, they cut it up down to about half before they actually hit. So that's uh, that does some things. And we've got those cram shots coming in. The missiles doing their thing. Immediately blowing away all of the armor on the front of this turret here. 
leaving it completely exposed. One more good shot and it will go up like 4th of July. Or, well, fireworks for those of you non-Americans, though. And... Was that enough? Did that... Oh! Oh, the shielding seems to be stopping it just enough, but now the engines are damaged and the shields are flickering. So that is, that is causing some issues. All they have to do is land a cram shell on that when the shield is not there and it will get close enough to detonate and take out the cannon. Yeah, having that cannon stored in this forward center section seems to... Or, cannon, that the, this engine here in the forward center section seems to be not doing the, uh, the stone wall any favors here. This cannon seems to be offline from the EMP damage. It is not firing. This one is still plugging away, but the this Task Force Dandelite shields are able to... Oh, there it is! There goes the turret. Kaboom! That entire compartment just vanishes in a fiery explosion. Is that, is that enough to take out? Yep, the Stonewall Fortress is below 55% and will be despawning any moment now. Yeah, it will probably be gone before that, that cram volley even reaches. Or maybe not. We seem to be running at a little bit of fl low rate frames right now, but it... Oh, and then there goes the other turret. Yep, it is, it is done. There is not any... Yep, there it goes. Despawning. So that was a, a very clear win for Task Force Danalite on both accounts. N neither of those ships took all that much damage. And so it will be uh, it will be receiving six points for its wins, while the Stonewall will be receiving two points for its losses. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, despite me screwing up the uh, the restarting designer bug again. Eventually, I will get the hang handle on that and break that habit. Oh, they're sailing. This one's sailing backwards. <laughs> they did that in the overview video too. Huh, that's funny. But anyways, good, uh, good luck out there, and I'll see you on the battlefield.